Um, and I became single for the first time in like my whole life, basically. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much how everybody thinks it'll be, but um, I'm like this weird, I'm like a weird, I'm like the one person that's like never been picked up before at a bar or anything. And um, I know it sounds really silly. Nobody ever believes me when I tell them, but I find that, I know it seems, I'm not, there's no reason for me to play down my ability. Um, I know. Okay. I'm getting distracted. So anyway, uh, I had all this time to write and, uh, um, and I lived in this big house and so I asked a good friend of mine from who I'd known from high school to move in with me because I had like all these extra bedrooms and she was a painter and so I was like, move in and we can be artists and so we named our house the Art Farm and um, we thought we were really clever. And, um, but what about it was farm-like? Well, it was an art farm. We were, we were like, we were producing art all the time, so it was like a farm. So, <laughs> except like, I mean, we were instead of producing like cattle or wheat or corn, we were producing music and art. Okay, okay just be quiet. And then, <laughs> just, so anyway, um, and while we were just playing the last song, I was reminded of the fact that it was a big house, but behind the house was a carriage house, and that's where the owners lived. And um, they resawed the lawn um, in the spring, and um, and every night uh, or every morning when I would wake up, my landlord would tell me his name was Mark, and he would tell me that in the morning when he would wake up, the raccoons would have pulled all the sod up, and it was driving him insane because they were, didn't have a lot of money. Those raccoons are bastards. Pardon? <laughs> like, Those raccoons are bastards. Mm. So. <laughs> So they used to pull up the sod, and Mark was really sad about it because it was really expensive. I mean, it's like cost a lot of money to lay it down sod, apparently. Um, so, um, so he started researching online all these ways to get the raccoons not to pull up the sod, and it was like there was a ton of different ways, but one of them was really funny. Um, you you were supposed to like pee along the perimeter of the the grass because then they wouldn't cross the the, the urine line or whatever. And, um, that didn't work though. And after like a week he had like circles under his eyes and he was like, they're driving me nuts. It's like all I hear is raccoons. I wake up in the middle of the night and I can hear them ripping it up. And um, so then they bought one of the, the they bought a sprinkler that was um, a motion detector. So if anyone if any motion happened within like 360 degrees of it, it would shoot on and it would just spray water everywhere. And so finally, they won against the raccoons, and um, and the grass grew. Yeah, it was kind of genius. Except every once in a while, I would hear his wife Jennifer and their baby, and they would come into the backyard, and Mark would have forgotten to turn the sprinkler off in the morning, and hear them screaming. Um, Cause it wasn't like a nice like. It was like. <laughs> anyway, um, I didn't. I spent a lot of time talking to them, but I spent a, I, my window sort of looked over the lawn, so um, I used to spend a lot of time just singing. I, a lot of the songs on the record were quite, kind of quiet for me because I was um, nervous about them hearing me because they used to set up a, um, this um, um, inflatable pool and, and they would have gin and tonics by the pool. <laughs> I love these people so much. I was heartbroken when I had to move out. And, um, like with their baby? <laughs> Sounds dangerous. So the baby drank gin. They're like, let's bring the baby to the pool with the raccoons everywhere and the gin and tonics. <laughs> there was like a centimeter of water in it. But no, I mean, I didn't. The baby didn't drink. So. Anyway, a drunk baby. You know what? It's supposed to be. This is supposed to be a sweet story to lead up to the song. So just shut your mouth. Um, we don't do metric. Anyway, so a lot of my songs ended up being really quiet because I was. <coughs> scream and then I realized that everyone in the neighborhood could hear me and I was really shy so instead of writing angry songs which I really wanted to do I just wrote soft mean songs <laughs> <laughs>